Absolutely, Chef Tumza. It is a cooking show at the end of the day. And what's a cooking show without some beautiful, <laughs> handsome chefs? I'm speaking about the beautiful gentleman next to me, Chef Chart. Chef Jay, welcome. Oh, you good afternoon. <laughs> Lovely to see you both, you know, and all, you know, looking fabulous as always. Uh, listen, oh. you came looking regal. Mm. <laughs> mm. Yes, yes, Chef. Chef. You know? <laughs> Oh, gentlemen, now today we're focusing on seasonal foods and seasonal ingredients. Absolutely. Well, I think, you know, eating seasonally is so important. You know, it's when the produce is at its absolute peak, yeah. where you want it from a nutritional perspective, you know, health perspective, whatever it might be, use it and uh, just in abundance when it's in season. I'm loving it. So well, let's get into this first recipe. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Now, there's nothing quite like the smell of freshly baked bread filling your home, whether it's a standard white loaf of bread or something a little more artisanal, like our olive and herb bread that we're about to make. You're guaranteed a perfect loaf every time with the Kenwood bread maker BMM13. Now listen, it seems as if Chef Jay, you have got the Rolls Royce <laughs> of bread makers there. That's what I'm talking about, Pali. I'm here in the kitchen with two, three of my favorite people. That's you, Chef Chart, and of course, the Kenwood <laughs> bread maker BB, BMM13. And we're gonna go straight into this recipe because it's so fantastic. Mm. So quickly, in, in your box, you get a measuring cup, a spoon, um, so you can measure all your ingredients into this um, the bread tin, and it's beautifully non-stick, so you don't have to worry about it sticking, you don't have to grease it. All the accessories are detachable, so it makes it excellent for cleaning, super, super easy. So we're gonna mm. click this in right away and we're going to start adding in some of our ingredients but we're talking about seasonality yeah so chef chart is going to be working on uh, a nice little filling for this because this bread makes an absolutely fantastic sandwich so chef i'm going to ask you to crack on over there absolutely so i'm going to really do something just sort of that's got some wonderful sort of texture running through it um and obviously you know playing on, on seasonality so a bit of avocado that we've just sort of mashed up with a with a with a fork red onions you know they're abundant throughout the year mm. and of course some citrus as well so lemon, but if you've got some, you know, wonderful sort of oranges or nachis, use them as well. And oh. very simply, all we're going to do is just sort of mix a whole lot of things together. So in with some mayo into some smoked chicken. And again, it could be some leftover roast chicken or yes. whatever else. I mean, what's what's lurking in your fridge at the moment that's leftovers Ooh, that could I, go in? I've got some lamb knuckle curry in my tea. Delicious! <laughs> Absolutely. So take that, flake it off the bone, and use that as an alternative if you, um, well, you know, you want to in there. And then obviously a little bit of seasoning always. So salt, a pinch of salt pepper. into there, and then pepper as well. And I'm just going to mix this together, and that's your sort of filling done. Done. Yeah, I know for my filling, I would have, uh, I've got some leftover cold beef, so I would act, add that. And mm. Jay, at the end of the day, this will be sandwiched into the bread that you're making. Yes, for sure. Now, Pali, remember this recipe was actually taken from the Kenwood Bread Maker recipe book, mm. and there are tons more to choose from. It tells you all the instructions. Uh, so it's, you know, you don't have to worry about, you know, um, complicating it too much. They've simplified all the recipes for you. So go ahead and choose whatever suits your, your, your needs. So we're going to go in with the rest of our ingredients, Pali. Um, and you can see that this actually allows you to choose two options. So you can make a 500 gram loaf or you can make a 750 gram loaf. Oh, wow. So you can obviously just decide what is um, your um, preference for that. So we're going in with some yeast, of course, some salt, a sugar. We've got our olives. We've got some fresh rosemary just to oh, liven it up inside. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to close this snugly, okay? And then in the recipe book, it will tell you exactly which options to use. Now, with the LCD display here, you've got over 19 different options depending on what bread you're making. Mm. You can also make marmalade in here, which is fantastic. So we're gonna choose option two for our olive and herb bread, and you can even choose your crust level. So there's three different options. We're gonna go for, I think, a number two. Yeah, How do you guys like it? Not too hard. I, I do like a little bit of a crunch in my, on my uh, a crust. A little bit of crunch? A little bit of crunch, oh. but I don't wanna hurt my gums. No, so that's maybe... the best. You want that <laughs> crust. That's what it's all about, so, is having that thick crust. So we're gonna go for two or three. So we're gonna go, Let's go two. Let's two. go two. Okay, so we're going to select number two, and then we're going to press start. And then, guys, this is just going to go away and be happy. You can go around, you know, watch some TV. You can make live some fillings. Life. Live your best life. I mean, you know, his, like, whole baking career has taken off on another sort of tangent <laughs> there, Jay, you know? But, I mean, yes, I think the simplicity of something like that, just sort of, you know, slap it all in there. Yeah. And then uh, done. I mean, that's what it's all yeah. that you, and what no, you need it, to do. It mixes. 
it needs and it bakes in this machine. So you literally don't have to do anything else. And how do you guys feel about this? I know. Okay. <laughs> You're not even a chef anymore, so Kenwin's doing it all for you. <laughs> all I needed was all I needed was a spatula. I can't. I actually can't. But we are focusing on seasonal foods. Yeah, so Chef Charles, we had three seasonal ingredients in this entire mix. Can you just highlight what they were? So we've got with the um, avocado with the avocado we spoke about there. Lemon. I'm just gonna put a little bit of lemon juice here. Oh yes, the last lemon bit juice. Here. Just there, just for sort of, you know, for seasoning. You know, the just freshness. to you know, mm. a bit of absolutely that freshness but just so until you are happy with it. And that's, you know, sort of real seasonal components with some lovely wild rocket. I mean, yes, I know it's a bit chilly outside, but it's also starting to sort of, Heat you know, up. warm up slightly. Mm. So we are very lucky. But I mean, you just got to basically just layer it up and just have some fun. So it's taking a dollop of that with some red onions, wild rockets. Put that together, and sir. Done. It looks incredible. Chef Jay, you also had the olives in there. I love to see it. And I want you to get your hands on this recipe. And you can find it on afternoonexpress.co.za. Head over there for some more delicious inspiration. Simply follow at Kenwood ZA. Now here on Afternoon Express, we love turning you, our viewers, into winners. You could be the lucky winner of a Kenwood bread maker, BMM13. All you have to do is head over to the Afternoon Express Facebook page and tell us what would be the first bread loaf you would make with your Kenwood bread maker, BMM13. Use the hashtag Kenwood ZA. T's and C's apply and can be found on afternoonexpress.co.za. What an incredible start, gentlemen. Hey, S3 viewers, stand a chance to attend the behind the scenes of the photo shoot for Afternoon Express and win branded merchandise for S3 and Afternoon Express. Here's today's question. Who are the two resident chefs? A, Sanela and Shogi, B, Dumi and J, C, Grace and Betty. SMS the keyword Afternoon Express, followed by your name and the correct answer to 33376. Be a winner with S3. Open up.